Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my Seed Reviews and Tours series. Last time, we had episode 31 from Minigran. This was a jungle spawn in, and you can see Jungle Temple literally right on top of us. There is so much else around. If you've not seen it, do go and have a look. The playlist is in the description below. We're going for another Java Seed this time for episode 32. Let's get in there. We're going to generate this world together. This is the seed, but this is in the world name. Make sure you go to more world options and plonk your seed in there as well otherwise it's going to be random and there will be sad sad days ahead of you we are generating structures we're doing everything else that's the same just that seed click on done and generate the new world and let's see what we're going to end up with now i'm told when we jump in we could be dealing with just the slightest bit of disappointment and then it gets very exciting let's see okay well we appear to have landed in a tree looks like we're surrounded by water let's get myself a load of stone and we can get ourselves up on a podium So up on our stone pillar, we are indeed on a little island, but this little island has got dogs, it's got pigs, it's got cows, it's got chickens, it's got sheep, it's got sand, it's got trees, and it's got plenty of area. So in reality, if you wanted to play island survival, this fella is genuinely quite interesting, actually. I quite like it. And well, I guess we have to see what is likely to hit us when we go on our travels. I'm gonna point myself in a northerly direction, which is this way, and we're gonna see what we can't find. And the first thing what we find, look, there's our island over there. The first thing we find, there is a monument. Look, I could, I could stand on top of me stone pillar and I could spit on the guardians from here. It is right on top of you. That is a brilliant find. Prismarine for days on that one. Nicely done there. Not far at all. What's the coordinate? 66 minus 265 for this guardian farm. That, for this guardian farm, I'm jumping into myself, for this ocean monument. That is a really nice find right at the beginning of the game. So if we carry on north, we get this tiny little desert islandy bit here. It's not an island, it's actually at the end of a larger piece of land. But you've got all the, the, uh, the sand that you could possibly need. There is no temple that I can see, but at least you've got sand, so you've got plenty of glass there. We've also got a nice plains area with a decent sized village right here. I can see something coming on the horizon. I haven't missed it, but let's look at the village first. The village is kind of sunk into this little hill area and it's not got, I don't think, a blacksmith from what I can see, but definitely plenty of hay bales that you can pillage so you can get all of the bread that you can get out the back of that. You can nick all of the villagers from this place. That would be an absolute boon. Then you've got more little bits and pieces of land, but we don't care about that because we're coming across the sea and we're about to hit the Mesa. The Mesa is already here. It's just over there, just over that bit there. You can't quite see the post, but we are right inside the Mesa. What more could someone ask for? A Mesa so close to where you spawn in. We've got exposed mine shafts just down there, as is always so common in a Mesa biome. We've got Let's look up here. We've got actually a really nice kind of enclosed water area there. If you want to do something with uh, maybe some kind of western town on the coast, that would work really well, actually. I really like the idea of that. That's something that I could consider myself too. And then just, we're going to carry on over the Mesa and we're going to see what else we can find. We're the other side of the Mesa now, and it was a fairly decent sized one. We've got a shipwreck that's landed on the side of a savanna there with a plains biome just on the other side of it. A really nice winding river that runs all the way around. That's what's almost an island there in the plains with a little bit of a mountain with hills on. That is something you could definitely do some good building with. We've got a desert over the other side of it here. Looks like a pretty mountainous desert there. I wonder if there might be a uh, desert temple lurking somewhere in the midst of that desert. Certainly, it looks certainly like it's big enough. The plains just continue on. You can see we've got another desert village to the left of us. We've got a savannah village to the right of us. We've got a very circular hole. That's, that's, a, that's a perfect Minecraft circle right there. How often do you see that? That's weird. But the desert kind of laps around. We've got another shipwreck. Lots to do in this northerly direction, isn't there? We are heading out eastwards now. There's our island just there. And this is an absolute sprawling mass of wetness. What a massive, huge ocean we're playing with here. We've got shipwrecks, unsurprisingly, with this size of ocean. We've got a massive desert to the left-hand side of us. We've got a savanna that then turns into more of a desert on the right-hand side of us. This desert's huge. Look at this. 
huge mountains of desert we've got a desert temple coming up right in front of us heading due east and we are right over the top of it something to loot what happens when we continue out in this direction what happens is we go just a few more blocks we've got an ocean ruin just underneath us there there'll be a chest there that's worth having an explore we've got another desert coming on with another shipwreck this is loads of shipwrecks on this one huge desert if you like desert living this is your fella and then we're coming into a frozen ocean so silk touch picks at the ready as much ice as you can shake a sticky pick at and you will have ice for days to be able to slide along on your boats in your nether systems as fast as you could possibly want but i think it continues out even further what's there what is there is more and more frozen ocean it's one of the biggest frozen oceans i think i've seen in a very long time but we have got a pillager tower right on the edge of this desert waiting for you to come and perhaps build a pillager farm i can't see a village anywhere close by to it which is really unusual normally there is a pillager tower next to a village or certainly within shooting distance you've also got a really great looking ravine there that will get you down to pretty much bedrock very very fast we're heading out south and very soon you see not one not two but three shipwrecks along in this direction and coming into what looks like a really nice looking snowy tiger that turns into a snowy plains which is a tundra it looks beautiful you've still got some ice with the frozen rivers but if you want a little bit of winter living perhaps this is where you should come really really close to spawn we've only traveled what a couple of hundred blocks in this direction and you've got all the snow you could possibly need and it got it's very devoid of anything there's no uh, villages or anything like that that i can see but what i can see just to the left hand side of it is what looks like a micro and I do mean micro, although it might carry on over there, is a micro ice spikes biome. Oh no, we do have more coming over this way. Brilliant. Ice spikes biome, a thousand blocks from where you spawn in. It is actually quite small. Look at that. Lapping around this mountain that is not remotely frozen. And But still, you want some blue ice? I think I might have found your spot. So we've got a forest here. Plenty of wood for you to come and collect your bits and pieces and maybe bring it back to the island if you want to do island living. That's entirely up to you. Behind that, we've got even more wood with a standard tiger biome. Looks like it is fairly decent size. Uh, certainly plenty of space. So you'd be able to come and maybe gather up the old fox or two if you wanted to come in this direction. And just beyond that forest, we've got the flower forest. Look at that. Beautiful. We've got everything we need. This is about 1,700 blocks to the south. So if you want to come and collect up your flowers for all your dyes, this is your place. You'll certainly find some before, but you've definitely find some bees in this area as well. This is a really nice place to set up camp. Look at that big wall there in a almost like a, a right angle type of shape on this cove of water. That is a really nice opportunity to be able to build something. This flower forest goes on for ages. This is huge. You're never going to run out of flowers. Look at the size of this one. Just the other side of the flower forest. Look, you can see it there. We've got this really lovely plains area that you could definitely do some kind of base. Maybe that could be a town build between the flower forest and the tiger biome there with the mountains in the distance. And we've got a dark oak forest here too. And the other side of the dark oak forest is a little village. It does have, look at that. It's got a smithy. This is what we love. Hello, little mate. We like to see your house because we can nick stuff from it. So the only direction that leaves us is west. A really deep shipwreck right underneath us along with a little ruin on the right hand side. That's the monument that we saw earlier. But we're not going in that direction. We are going in this westerly direction out here. We've got, got our shipwreck there just on the right hand side of that little island. And it looks like we've got a series of small islands going out in this direction. What else is this world going to hold for us? So we've got ourselves a swamp with plenty of water. I do love a swamp with plenty of water because that means that we can make a more effective slime farm out of here. I can't see a witch hut, which is always a bit of a shame, but even so, a really nice looking swamp. And the other side of it, dark oak forest on the left, birch forest on the right, and more what looks like more water coming up on the other side of it so let's see what it happens when we cross i'm not even going to bother crossing because we have got a better swamp right here not only have we got all of this watery area this is perfect this is what swampers dream of when they're doing swamp slime farms it's absolutely superb but not only that we've got a witch farm potential right here with this witch hut utterly surrounded by water very little land near it and i'm sure that poor little witch inside where are you little mate there you go 
is inside there feeling a little bit soggy because he's not got any welly boots. So what happens if we go further on? Sorry, you're all right, Rich, but for me, you're fine. However, people are coming in and they're going to farm the hell out of you. What we have got is another ocean monument. We are at minus 2,300, minus 350-ish. There, another ocean monument right on the edge of this tundra here. And I'm not sure that's not quite as close as the last monument, but it's certainly well close enough for you to be able to do yourself a little farm on that. That is a really nice little area. I've done a quick slash locate just to see what a few items of interest could be. And we've got the jungle pyramid is only 1,661 blocks away. We've got a stronghold just over 2,000 blocks away. The desert pyramid, the closest one is less than 1,000 blocks away. And igloo is only 727 blocks away. So you can go and loot that fella to within an inch of its life. And it is only under 6,000 blocks for the nearest mansion which in a Minecraft sense is really, really close. So everything really close by on this one. I've plugged the seed into Mine Atlas just to see if we can't have a little peek around at what we've got and perhaps see things that I've missed as a result of flying just really in the four cardinal directions. And the reality is I've missed a not too small amount of stuff because I didn't fly diagonally. For example, you see this little mesa that we found that when we flew out in the northern direction, well, just the other side of that, Mushroom Islands, just there, look, really, really close. You've also got another mesa out here. If you wanted to build a nether portal out, that could be your mining mesa, that could be your building mesa, that works beautifully. We have got plenty of jungle and it is really not that far away. Look, only 1400 blocks. So lots of jungle for you to play around in there as well. Lots of different types of biomes surrounding you. But let's not forget, all of this water so if you like ocean living that's quite interesting if you don't like ocean living i fully recommend you fly out in this northwesterly direction because as soon as you hit land you're pretty short of, of water you've got plenty of the other different biomes but water not so much so lots of choices on this one and i like it very much it is time to go subterranean now i've got myself a night vision potion on here and it's interesting when you look around at the sea when you've got a night vision potion and you can see stuff you couldn't see before all very cool but we're going under the ground in three two no we're not now we are three two one and we are under what have we got apart from a creeper right there we have got unsurprisingly a fairly small area without going down quite deep because we're surrounded by ocean for goodness sake and as a result you've got to go low to be able to get under the water as a result of that you've actually got a really good open space here to be able to get some branch mining done because you see all of these areas that aren't caves that's solid which means it could be solid all kinds of stuff including diamonds and ores and i don't know what what i can't see too many of interestingly and it's quite rare for a seed video for there not to be one really close and that is a mine shaft i don't know if mine eyes deceive me but i can't see one for toffee so i had to travel about 200 blocks to find a mine shaft but it was worth it because if you look right on the other side of this mine shaft here we have got a little spawner that is a zombie spawner right there so you can come and make yourself a zombie farm with absolutely no worries whatsoever you've got obviously the treasure that comes in the chest in the hoppers and it's a fairly small mine shaft this one isn't it there's not a lot going on around it not at all very interesting i've not seen a mine shaft this small for some time but i think it does continue we're going to call this the same mine shaft here i think because it was so small and i feel quite bad about saying it was so small so we're going to give it that little extra space but even so i can't even see a spider spawner so from a mine shaft perspective it is a little bit disappointing and i can't see any other mine shafts in the near vicinity either so i can't see whether or not we can get any more obviously I've got to eat my words every time I say anything. Two cave spider spawners virtually next to each other. So you've got your double spawner farm there and you are talking about it is only, what, uh, 38,374. So it's really, really close. Time to go interdimensional. Let's light up this portal right next to our pole there and we'll see what we've got waiting for us on the other side. So we've got a cave spawn. We're inside, so we are safe from gas you're not going to get gasted as you come through here but has it got easy access to the rest of the nether would be my question we do appear to have an opening okay all is not lost 
it's all good look at this come straight out into the nether here so you can go and do the necessary uh, exploration you've got soul sand immediately there you've got um, all kinds of quartz you've got your glowstone this is okay you've got your magma but where is the nearest fortress because that is pretty much the only reason you come into the nether in it let's face it well maybe not the only reason and the fortress is close actually really close we're talking 119 minus 167 so really really close to where you come through and look at the size of it it is a biggie all exposed which is beautiful none of this digging around malarkey what's really interesting is this bit in the middle where we've got the blaze spawner in fact we've got two blaze spawners there look we have got not an awful lot of land and as a result you could probably make yourself especially around this area here a not too shabby with a skeleton farm i love the fact that you've got this kind of triple area here next to this blaze spawner i think i'm going to be targeting this area here for a wither skeleton farm that would be absolutely perfect however i do want to have a look at this little bit here because it looks like an entrance yes it is down into our fungus we have got the nether wart there so that we, we're, we're sorted this is a brilliant one massive farmable we've got stuff what more could you want well the way this was described to me was fairly accurate actually you start out looking okay nice island and all that it's got everything you need but nothing truly exciting and you start to travel out and oh my goodness literally everything is there that you could possibly need within i would say 2000 blocks of where you want to be so we have got our half stack of episodes now 32 episodes and we're saying thank you very much to miles hughes miles thank you very much for sending this seed i'm really glad you did it's got everything that the uh, survival player might want and also it's got some really nice areas for a creative player to build some really nice stuff that flower forest those plains the mountains really really nice looking uh, seed here if you've got a really nice seed that you'd like to share it could be bedrock it could be java this one just happens to be java but i do do bedrock ones as well then let me know by sending it to avamanceminecraft at gmail.com that is avamanceminecraft at gmail.com give me a little bit of annotation a little bit of a narrative as to why you think it is such a good seed maybe some coordinates let me know what's around if you can send me the map that's even more special and it would be good to include it in a future episode if you have enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button the pig's going to if you have enjoyed it it'd be great to know that you've enjoyed it and i will keep on making them also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button again the pig already has it'll be good to see you in my sub club I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.